In this video, I'll explain the project Legal Automation System. So Legal Automation System is basically for lawyers. So this was a lawyer office. So this is to manage the cases. Manage cases. We all know like lawyers will take cases. There may be different cases. So the case belongs to client. And there are multiple cases, okay? And there are multiple clients. So they need to manage everyone. Apart from this, this office, lawyer office, will have multiple uh, employees or what we call as a lawyer's group. So we need to allocate these cases to the individual lawyer. If there is a lawyer 1, lawyer 2, lawyer 3. So what are the cases there? We can allocate to the lawyers. In order to manage all these things and all, they required a software. So therefore, software should help them to solve the problem. So therefore, we should know like who is the client, what is their problem, what is that case, when the when it will come for a hearing, when is the next hearing, and also we will look at the payment collections like how much money you collected from the that particular client. So also we need to represent in the court and we need to prepare for that. So all this we need to store in a system. Then it will be very easy for the uh, lawyers. Therefore, this software will help to do the same. And this is an, it's an entry level project. So this basically for a student who would like to do projects in uh, VBR. So if you are a student and would like to do project in VB6 or VB.net or in C Shop or in Java, even Android, this video will definitely help you to understand the project and then you can able to build this project in any of these languages. So therefore, in order to make a project, you, need, you should know the concept. The concept is very, very important. What is there in your project? So in this project, basically, as we discussed, we, we can uh, divide this project into three parts. One is the basic entries. And the second one is a process. So next one is the reports. So in case of basic entries, here we'll enter one time entries like so stop member, their qualifications, designations, then we have a code details which are the codes we'll go that details. So this is the basic entries what we do that when you come to the process. So here we can enter the client details. Then cases, what are the cases they are having? Then hearing, when the hearing will come. Then payment collections, money collected from the clients. So this is the process because it's the day-to-day -day work actually. Therefore, it's called as a process. Next, we have a reports. Based on this, we can have a report here. Like you have a stop list. Then case list. Right, payment list. We can create any number of reports as for the client requirement. So here is the basic project. So therefore, we'll show you some basics of it. And uh, around uh, 14 to 15 forms are there in this particular project. If you make that much, okay for the your academic is concerned. Now I'll demonstrate the project for you. So before getting into that, if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. So go to browser and uh, check for iBlix in YouTube. So just open the YouTube. Probably you are already watching the video there. You can check it out like Iblix tutorials. Right, so you can have you can see that our channel and you can subscribe here. Click the subscribe button. And once you go to Iblix tutorials and then videos, here you can see all the list of videos. So what we already done. So we more focus on Python and basically projects on VB.net, C Sharp, ASP.net, PHP and Python projects. Therefore, you'll have a lot a more number of projects. So if you are tall, if you need to do a project, uh, definitely there is a huge amount of uh, projects list is available here. Please watch that and then uh, learn, then create your own project. Okay, so please subscribe to our channel. Now we'll move to the Visual Studio and let us understand like how this project works. 
and if you wish to buy this project you can please contact us the link is there in the description so you can buy this project from us or else you try to do the your own right so these are the forms which are there in this project i'll go to mda form i'll show you that mda form here you can see these are the basic entries stop detail case detailment so this is the process actually so this process is important this is the day to day activity and here is the reports so these reports will show you like what are the entries are done that we can able to view it here okay so i already opened in visual studio in case if you don't have visual studio you have to go to visual studio website and from there you need to download okay so just go to browser and you can say visual studio download so here are three editions are available so you can see here and if you go to download so one is community edition professional and enterprise you can download community it's a free edition so therefore you can use this edition right so now let me run this project so is a legal automation system this picture you can change okay we are we have simple picture but uh, this picture can be changed and here is a login form so we can log in with admin then admin and click okay and here is a mda form fine so once you log in you can see that admin entries here the code details so we already enter one civil code bangalore so if you have multiple codes uh, this lawyer office people are go and attending you can enter the more code names here so for example let's say um, click new so here you can write i code so this is bangalore so you can write more about like where exactly the i code located so this is uh, near vidana sauda right so click save so this is saved next we could go to qualifications qualifications and destination is by the staff members so generally lawyer other destinations are there we can enter it here staff member we have to enter the individual staff details here so employee code navin and the what is the complete name let's say navin kumar and their address here Uh, number one two three. So we have a separate video for validations. So please check out like how to do the validation. Fine. So you can see that what are the entries already done? The list will come here. We can choose the one from the list. Click modify. So it is modified. or you don't want then you can click here to delete it you can delete and you can click new to enter the new record so therefore you can enter the new record and save and then uh, if record is already present you can able to modify and you can able to delete so watch more videos so more project videos therefore in each project we are explaining different concepts so therefore you'll get a complete idea how to make the project and how to demonstrate the project and how to answer the viva questions a lot of things you learn therefore keep watch more videos so therefore you'll get the lot of benefit so here is the case details so first you need to enter the case entry so here is the one case actually so their client address fine so their mobile number you can enter the mobile number here so what is the case so case is uh, vehicle accident so what is the opponent detail who is the opponent okay so this is the accident so there is a person who met an accident so the opponent details we can write down if you know the opponent details let's say ravi is the thing so if there are some witnesses we can write down about the witnesses so in real time we need to enter the more data because here we make a dummy data at least some basic data we can enter it here okay So next one is uh, staff person. For this particular case, who is the staff member? So there is a main staff, sub staff, uh, sub staff like you no, know, the senior lawyer, and subsequently uh, additional lawyers which is required for this case can be added over here. So you can also add the sub uh, staff, the additional staff here. So here we have only one member. We just added one member only, but you can add more members. So next is the court as in so for this case which court we have to go so this is a civil court bangalore so this is allocated so next one 
additional repo about this particular case whenever the new things are comes up we can write more details over there okay so the date is accident date uh, 1 1 uh, 2020 time 11 am so we can able to modify this so when you have new information click new button and then add the additional details and then save so for about this particular case we can add up more details so next one is here is the hearing so when this case will come for hearing so okay next hearing so this is the case number so next hearing will be okay and uh, so 8th of 21st so previous hearing details okay uh, witness statement is recorded so next requirement so cross examination of the witness so for that uh, lawyer officers to prepare for the same right so now i'll close this so next one is search case so you want to search the case so here is a name ashok so click this so you can see that uh, the details will be comes over here next is the uh, case schedule details so for example if you take the case number okay so if you have multiple cases we can able to view it here like okay so if i remove the date from the search i think we can able to get it i'll show you like how to do this next is the fee collections here is to collect the money from the client so case number based on this how much money we are collecting so we charging 5000 rupees um, advance amount save okay so here is uh, error is because of the var care data type to date and time data type so sometime it will happen so here you can see that uh, v date at value so this value is in date format but like no so we need to format it again to the ddmmyy format so therefore uh, i can use the format function here ddmmmyy i'll try that okay i stop the debugging and then uh, made a changes i'll continue with this fine it's accepted this is the beauty of uh, visual basic uh, where you can um, stop between and then make changes and then you can still run right so next is the reports here is a stop list who are all the stop members working here and here is a fee collection report so what are the money collected that list will come and uh, next one is a case list what are the cases are there here okay so these are things which is covered in this particular project so for when you plan to do it so you plan all these things and then if possible like you know you add up more things to that uh, if you don't know like how to do the project uh, we have videos like how to start with the visual studio how to make the basic project how to make a login project how to make mda parent so for go to our website our uh, youtube channel please watch the videos and then learn and then make the project okay thank you thank you very much